Um, so rugby is similar to American football is a lot of the physical aspects are transferable um, but it's constantly flowing so it's a very fun sport to watch. Each game's 80 minutes and there's two 40 minute half with about a 10 to 15 minute half time depending on the game. In rugby there are 30 people on the field at a time, uh, 15 per team. Um, you have to pass the ball backward or to the side. The only time it moves forward is when you kick it forward in order to gain territory. Offside is, I guess you can kind of, it's kind of similar to football. The line of scrimmage, you, got, you have to be behind. There's a line that you must always be behind. So in rugby, obviously, you pass the ball backwards. So it kind of is like a reference point of where not to go. Otherwise, you're not an option in the game. Uh, the try area is technically a touchdown for the, guys, for the people that uh, know football for a touchdown area and it is from sideline to sideline, 10 meters deep, and uh, it'll be behind the goalpost instead of in front of it. A try is pretty much like scoring a touchdown in football. You go over the goal line and you place the ball down and it counts as five points. Um, in rugby, you can only tackle the player with the ball. You are not allowed to get in front of anyone who's carrying the ball, so you are not allowed to block like that. A drop goal is when a player kicks the ball through the goalpost in the middle of the play. It's worth three points. If a player accidentally drops the ball forward or knock or knocks it forward with his hands, it's called a knockoff. Like American soccer, when the ball goes out of bounds, they have a line out. Both teams line up at the edge of the field and the ball is thrown in. So when there's a fraction in the game of rugby, uh, we have a scrum to restart it. In a scrum, there's eight forwards, um, eight people from each side, and we both compete for the ball. Uh, when the ball's on the ground, uh, it comes out the back of the scrum, and the scrum half picks the ball up and then plays away. Uh, it wrecks when a player tackles the ball carrier and the player's teammates uh, tries to help to get the ball, it becomes a wreck. Uh, the wreck is a pile up with the ball on the ground, kind of like a scrum, mini scrum.